Hello, 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 hello. If you are there and you can hear me, please drop a number one in the whatever you call it, the comment section. Um, I've learned my lesson. I'm going to make sure that this works properly, that my audio is working properly before we get started. So if it's not, I can go switch it. We can do all that. So if you can hear me, drop a number one, pretty please, and let me know. And once I see some of that, then we'll go. If you can't hear me, drop a number two. One, okay, cool. Thank you, Jennifer. You're number one. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, thank you, Alexa. Hey, Cookie. Thanks, Karen. Hey, Cookie. How's it going? Hello, everybody. Okay, so we're good to go. So let me put, let me switch over to here and just post this on my other channels that people know that we're hanging out over here. Um, I hope that everybody's doing well, as you saw from the thing. The thumbnail we're going to be just reading comments from my latest video on um Trizel and Jacqueline uh, Orn and Orson shocked over this hello Emily and before we even get started but we're gonna wait for more people to get in y'all first of all welcome Emily she is our house mod here yes that's what we'll call her um I got the best thing in the mail today from Emily y'all it made my day my week my month my year uh, and I'm gonna show it off here in a second I'm so excited to show this off y'all I just cannot even um so I'll show in a second here um I hope that everybody's doing well things have been going good over here at the sofa um ordered some curtains today you know some some uh curtains yeah they replaced the windows today at the apartment and uh not just ours but like several and so i was recording i recorded a video on melanie gibb today and uh i know i can't leave it alone but it took forever to record the videos when I'm getting that, but I'm happy to have the windows replaced. And I went ahead and now that they did that, I was like, okay, I'm going to order some curtains to get in here. And then when I do that, because I literally have had a blanket, I'm in the studio right now, right? I've literally had a blanket hanging up over the window because it's just, it's so bright in here. And I didn't have anything. I wanted them to replace windows first. Anyways, so that's it. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everything's going good. I've gotten a lot of requests to do, uh, so we'll just do some housekeeping here. A lot of requests to do, and I can't even think of her name now, the woman who pretended to get kidnapped. Um, Papini, I can't think of her first name. Um, long story short, I've gotten a lot of requests to do that one. And I, as soon as I publish, as soon as I finish the Melanie Gibb video, I'm going to start it on that one. But I also saw some updates about Orn and Orson that I want to go over and look at. So that being said, but I am going to do the Papini case, if that's what her name is. Looks just like damn Jody Aries, if you ask me. Um, that's a whole other video. So, because yeah, just a little bit that I've read about her, I'm like, oh my God, please. This is a hot mess express. Oh my gosh. So anyways, um, but yeah, what we're going to do, and this, this is the format, if you're just joining, if you're new, whatever, is first of all, this is my podcast channel, the other channel. So if you're watching this, make sure you're subscribed because you might be coming from my main channel and not realizing you're on a different channel, right? because it's the same person um so just make sure you subscribe to here to my other channel the report line for my sofa channel i have a scary movie review channel too it's you know i don't post too regularly on there but i do you know post things that i've watched recently and i just watched the new scream uh so anyways that's it okay and so what we're going to do here typically what we do as lives is i'll read we hang out we say hello if live chats aren't your thing then you're certainly not going to like this because i stop i talk to people i do that kind of stuff and what i like to do is read the comments um from videos and stuff like that and just go over i just think it's a great way to discuss the case and see what's out there and get the heartbeat and all that kind of stuff um so that's what we do over here at the damn sofa and please welcome 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 little roscoe to the damn sofa okay hey what's what's up guys hey what's i'm, I'm just here just hanging out okay so we're getting ready to read that but first where is it okay y'all so again emily is in the chat room give her a shout out give her a round of applause everybody she's our mod emily is literally founding not founding fathers, founding mother of the damn sofa over here. Okay, she has literally been here, I want to say from day damn one. Um, certainly from the first live chat, right? Um, so anyway, recently she hit me up and she was like, Paul, I've been doing this artwork, da, 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 da. yeah, I'd like to send you one. 
And I was like, absolutely. Um, of course. So she was like, what are your favorite? And like, what colors do you use in your apartment on that? So I literally told her, I was like, these are basically our favorite colors. Okay. So let me just say this. So I was stoked. She sent me some pictures of it, right? And I was like, damn, that's good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like stoked to get this. Okay. So I, saw, I couldn't believe how quick it got here. First of all, Emily, thank you. I did not unbox it in here because I was so, I mean, y'all, I was so stoked to get home and open this up, y'all. So I already opened it. Let me just tell y'all, first and foremost, the level of meticulousness that she packaged this in. Emily, I was so impressed. It literally felt like a present that kept giving. Like, it was so wrapped with love, okay? <laughs> like, and you'll see what it is in a second. Like, you had to wrap it carefully, right? But it was so perfect and precision like And little notes were on each layer. I mean, it was so cool, okay? So... We're going to start with the artwork thing. There's a couple of things in there, right? And okay, there they are. So here, and this, y'all, this is not, the camera will not do it this justice. Okay, here, let me get the ring out of it. Here is this, and I'm going to try and get, look at the brown. Look at the brown. I don't know if you can see this, but this is where I had it sitting up. I had it up here for my Melanie Give video, and I don't know if you can tell, but this right here, I, it's perfect. So... I put it in here, obviously, because I want y'all to see it in the videos, right? There's a two spots I'm looking at in the apartment, um, but because I want to see it every day, y'all. This is like, I mean, it's it's like glossy. You don't even need a frame because she had told me she's like, I don't even know if you need a frame or that. You don't need a frame, but the the white in it and the blue. I mean, this blue is Matt and I's favorite color. Oh my, it is so amazing. I am spoiled rotten with this, y'all. I am so proud. Of on top of it, these are the little touches she put on it. Hold on, let me see. She named it right here. So she signed the back with these little notes. For the viewing pleasure of the Sofa Squad, Sofa's leaders, thank you for being a friend. I mean, Emily, you outdid yourself with this. But, and Emily, I mean, I can't remember if you said that you're going to be doing shows or doing something like that. I mean, 100% you should be doing this. I mean, this is major. This is like, like, this is, you can be doing this for a little, I mean, I don't, I don't want to put your business out there, but you could be making lots of money out of this and you might already be, I don't know. Um, it's just, I mean, I'm just so touched. I just love it. So anyways, it's going to be up here for some of the videos. And in fact, I'm going to put it back up there now. But then I'm going to be moving to where I can see it. Because I'm not in here every day, right? So I want to see it every day. Um, so I'm going to just leave it here for now so that we can all share in it. But I'm definitely moving it out to my place so I can look at it every day is what I'm getting at. Um, so thank you, Emily. She sent a beautiful card with it. And, um, hold on, and, uh, we'll just put that there, a beautiful card, and then where'd it go, oh, this, look, look what she attached to the back of it, y'all, look at that, Matt started to open them, I said, don't open them, <laughs> I said, I just want to, I said, I just wanted to, um, I just, <laughs> don't open, I just wanted to be like this, um, so anyways, that's Emily, again, so touching, I, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you for all that you do and being here and just being such a positive person. It's really, you're a very stand-up person and I appreciate that. Pardon me. Okay, so. Yay, awesome. Loves it. Um, yeah, she's very gifted. I was, I mean, I'm literally, I wish I could be here to touch it. I don't know what finish to put on, but it feels, I, I don't know how to even say it. I don't know how to describe it. It feels finished, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, and it fits perfectly in the cube. And it looks so good with the blue. I mean, look at that. Yeah. I know that y'all are like, is he crazy? Well, I've already glued that. Some of the sets glued down, but with my little floating head, it got, Anyways, I could go on about it. Um, and I can't wait to see some of your other stuff. Send me pictures as you do that. Um, so anyways, what we're going to do now, let me switch over to the video over here. Okay, so we are going to be reading comments. Like I said, this is on the other channel, the main channel. Um, and this is uh, my video that I did on basically all the updates now, this is like, what, three or four days ago, when it all went down of um, 
when Trizel and Jacqueline West were arrested. You know, were we shocked? Yeah, but were we shocked? Not really, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, it, it was, thank God they got arrested. Because what I was thinking, I was afraid what was going to happen is that they were basically going to get away with it, right? So, anyways, what I want to do is I want to just start reading through some of the comments on the video. Um, and again, if you want to watch the actual video or whatever, if you haven't seen it, it's on my other channel. It's the first one that'll come up if you click my videos, uh, and I'll be there. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to start here. Some, and usually when I do this, if you're new here, I usually don't read the name because even though it's like people put their names in there, they might not want it to be that way, you know, whatever. So, but again, these, these aren't my comments. Um, so I'm not trying to take credit for it. I'm just here to talk about it. Okay. So this person says, this case is so disturbing and heartbreaking. I fear what we will learn in this trial is going to make our worst nightmares seem small. I think the older children may sadly have to testify. I can't imagine the trauma those poor little children were forced to endure. Absolutely. Okay. So this touches on a lot of stuff that I saw in the comment section, as well as like the evidence that we're seeing coming through. I too fear that the kids were pulled into this, right? Because you know, the, the affidavit or whatever you call it doesn't sound good. It sounds like they completely, you know, utilized other people and the children and, you know, the facilitation of these crimes. Right. And so I too fear that uh, sadly that the kids are going to have to get involved in this and that's just horrifying because i think too like what this person's saying i think when we learn what was going on behind closed doors not just with Oren and orson because you know this was probably happening to other people there's another thing that i'm going to do in my video another woman saying that her kids allegedly had ended up with this, this couple and she hasn't seen them so you know, or seen him again or whatever. I haven't even looked at that. Just a lot of people mentioned it in the comment section here. And I quickly saw a KGE TV thing with it, but I didn't even click on it yet. So I was just like, okay, this is the thing. I need to come back to it. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, and some of these, I just kind of read through them real quickly and make sure I'm not going to be reading something that doesn't need to be out there, if you know what I'm saying. Um, okay, just, just, okay, here we go. This person says, I need the damn glasses. Uh, when the dad is asked what happened, he sounds like he's laying out a list and he's checking off boxes. So let's pause. A hundred percent. Okay, a hundred percent. And he does that like, okay, it was cold. I mean, it's so obvious, right? Okay, then let's keep reading her comment. He's literally laying out plot points of a story, a hundred percent. This supposedly just happened. There's no one inflection or emotion as he's recalling the moment he realized the boys were gone. Exactly. I mean, it's literally flatlined. And like to this person saying, just going down the list. And he seems a little annoyed about it. Okay. In my opinion, he seems a little annoyed about it. Um, okay. So then they continue. No shame or anger at himself when he recalls leaving the gate open. So true. Right. Um, no frenzy in his voice recalling looking for the boys the only time there's emotion in his voice is when he's trying to manipulate the listeners when he's thinking the searchers okay this person a hundred percent is like got this nailed right so yeah the only time we see this emotion is when he's faking thinking the searchers because he knows that they're not going to find anything right there he's completely throwing everybody off number one both of them are they're going to be here the stuff that they said is just so weird you know and of course now we know why but at the time it was like what you know it's just it's set so wrong with so many of us um hold on somebody's calling me it's not time to talk right now we're down to sofa business um so yeah that really bothered me with this and seeing like that and, and we're gonna get into Jacqueline because she, she was hot miss express during this he was too but their hot miss expresses were different but riding next to each other on matching tracks right uh, but just you know the, the, the ride was a little bit different for each of them okay excited to hear yes Okay, this is a good one, too. This is a good one, too. Okay. Also, several people noted at the time was them looking behind them, guilty of conscience. They expected the cops to arrest them any minute. Remember how that was? If you remember, if you watched their original interview, 100%, like, looking behind them, that whole thing. I mean, just because also they're expecting people to probably want to attack them, right? Because remember how the biological family was there, and it was like they're so pissed with all due reason, 
And to think that they sat there and lied that, I mean, I'm just going back over it, how they lied to the public in that moment. It was like, oh yeah, we, we'd expect you to be that way. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? And the whole time knowing what they did. Um, so, I mean, it's ugh. anyways. Okay. So people, I really went on. Okay. Here's another. So this is another theory or whatever. Um, okay. I agree. I agree with the theory that one child was a witness to the other's demise. They probably used a number of abusive methods on these boys and it went too far. I mean, I agree, right? Um, uh, a number of abusive methods on these boys that went too far. They would have to make other children lie about what happened. So maybe they threatened to do something to the other kids if they didn't play along. This 100% I buy this, right? Um, I, I could tell during the infamous interview that Jay was prompting T as he told his story and that he had rehearsed it with notes, not a written out narrative. Uh, this is true. This is true. This is very, very true. Um, I think those points, oh, no, no, no. that is why the whole thing was so unnatural. I think those points where he makes his sounds of annoyance is where he has flubbed something with his original story. His growl after saying the boys are going to be rambunctious was extremely bizarre. He messed up there and can't hold back his aggravation. Just my humble opinion. Wow, that's really true. I didn't really even think about that. But if you think, so if you stop and listen to what this person's saying, it's like, Think in the context of were they rehearsing it verbally or reading off of something. I think that he read off of something. I think that he did what this person said. He practiced off note cards or something. And then when it's like he messes up I and mean, he does get frustrated. And somebody else said this. I can remember the part. I don't know if you remember this or not. But when they're talking and she just blurts out all of a sudden in the backyard. And it's just like, where did that come from? Like, why are you even saying that? You know what I mean? So may, this person is basically saying, you know, it's a prompt to whatever. But nonetheless, this one person was like, oh, you know, he hit her over that when they got home. And I was like, he probably did because that was like a complete train wreck, right? Um, a complete train wreck. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, now. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm curious to know what they did. Okay, here's this one. Here's this one. And you might be in the room uh, tonight. Um, th this person's asking and saying or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm curious to know if they didn't just move exactly for that reason to have a home that they were going to lie and so the kids lived in knowing this new home would have no evidence of foul play. Excellent question. Excellent theory. Here's a couple of my questions about that. Um, so do we think, so let me ask you this. Do we think that they moved the house? Because there's two things going on. One person said, I don't know if we'll find the comment or not because there's like over a thousand or I mean, there's what? 638 comments okay so we're probably not going to get to them all spoiler alert. but one person was saying like oh they had to do something because christmas time was going to be a time that people were going to be like where are the boys like this is going to come to light right and i'm like very good point do we think that this, they did what this person's saying where they moved to the house because there's no evidence there you know what i mean i'm just like we can start afresh and we can do this and do that or like they were escaping from there almost <clears throat> pardon me almost like we have to make the situation pop off somewhere. We're going to move out here to the middle of nowhere because we can probably get away with it more there just to kind of be like, oh, well, maybe a coyote got them, even though that doesn't seem to be the way that they went to. Um, or do we think it's all just a coincidence? I mean, that's one of my things. Do you, So let's say this. If you think that the house that they moved out there with like a pre-planned thing drop a one in the comment sections if you think it's just a coincidence drop a two i'm just kind of curious to see um i haven't really decided for myself um <coughs> excuse me and let me let me crack my coke zero catch up on the comments for a second okay we got some ones yep 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 uh, i think the kids are involved they just couldn't tell like you know yeah fuzzy i agree hey alice hey aunt edna Rosie, ro Rotary, what's up? What's up? I mean, the neighborhood kids to come be. Oh, uh, flower girl. It wouldn't. Uh, flower girl. I'm right there with you. Hey, Rosie. Yes, so random. Hey, Chris. Swan song. Hey, Afrat. 
Let me get back down here. The lookout. Hey, Raleigh folk, what's up? Okay. Uh, if they did something in the old house, move to the new one, the neighbors wouldn't know about the boys. Yeah. Glad you're coming this. I know. Yeah. Thank me too. Yep. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, too. Hey, Green. I don't think that the boys were ever, and now I can't, I should know I made the damn video, but I don't think the boys ever made it to the new house, right? Like, I don't think they ever made it there. I think what happened to them happened back in Baker in Bakersfield. Um, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Hung themselves by saying the kids were missing, which I'm saying. Yeah, same here, Artie. The dog didn't pick up their scent. Yeah. See, and that's what, correct. I was going to say three months prior to the kids being reported, right? I don't think they made it. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so this is interesting. Thanks for everybody who is dropping that stuff in there because I just wanted to take the temperature. Um. Okay, wait. And they never let the kids out so people couldn't count them. Yeah, remember how he was already saying that? Like, we never came out because of COVID. Like, he was completely covering that story and their press conference thing, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to keep reading the comments here. That was an excellent question comment there. Um, okay, I saw the only thing about how I've been uh, Okay, so yeah. Uh, this is the worst we ever imagined. They had their other children Okay, so here we go. This is worse than we even imagined, 100%. They had their other children harm the babies. This is what I'm afraid of, too, and we'll get into this, too. Uh, the two boys are gone. The rest of the children are severely traumatized. I'll never understand why people harm their children. I mean, amen. Especially a situation like this. This is my opinion. I think that they. this was a family business, right? I am do so. Okay, let's, the next question: Do we think we're going to see the grandmother charged with anything? If you think so, drop a one. If you do not think so, drop a two. Do we think we're going to see the grandmother charged with anything? Um, because I feel like I'll say this: I think others are going to be charged. It's a matter of who, and I think we're going to be kind of, <clears throat> pardon me, kind of surprised about it. Um, and I don't know what I mean by that, other than like anything's possible at this point, because I do think that other people are going to get charged. I don't think we're going to see any of the little kids charged or whatever. Um, obviously, I mean, there's little kids, so so a lot of ones, a lot of kids, several twos as well. Yeah, my whole thing with the grandmother that I'm thinking is that she possibly lied about. Like, what is the charge when you obstruct justice because you lie about it? You know what I'm saying? Because remember how she, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it was the grandmother that said this. The grandmother didn't, she say she saw the boys recently, but then when the cops are saying, well, that doesn't add up because they were already gone. You know what I'm saying? This is my other thing too. And I don't understand how this happened. Excuse me. If anybody has ever been or worked or, you know, had part of the foster care system, anything like this, then it's like they come to the house to check on the children. Lots of times these children have, what do you call it? Just stuff going on. They got to go meet with a tutor. They got to meet with this, the doctor. The da, 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 da. These people had so many kids in the house. How did this go this long? If the kids were missing gone for three months then they report them missing how did they get away with that for so long now i understand that they adopted them and i don't know what the laws are out there in california but i'm just like i mean aren't people still coming to check on the kids or other ones in the home you know what i'm saying that's another thing that i'm just like now mind you we if you follow true crime and you know these you follow these cases and you know this unfortunately happens way too often right hey murder nerd how's it going what's up um Oh, wait, I forget about COVID. Thank you, Fuzzy Doxy. I forgot about... See, that's the thing I keep forgetting about that factor. Um, I forget about that. And then, yeah, for, not Evans and I, 100%. Yeah, and you, you factor those two things. And I forgot about COVID. So, there you go. And, okay, C CP, um, I... Okay, so I don't know if you were here earlier. I'm going to look into that because I'm curious about that too. I'll be doing like another like update video because I'm going to watch the press conference that the attorneys, the defense attorneys did. Um, 
And then I want to look into that too. So I'm going to be doing like a, it's going to be a few days out though. I got to get a couple other videos done first. And then I want to kind of do like a, okay, what all has come back out now? Thank you, Fuzzy Doxy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I bet the weather was in cahoots to cover their disappearance. Yeah, it does seem like it, right? Um, the COVID has been a cover. Yeah, I mean, right, Rosie? A hundred percent. See, that's I keep forgetting. You and how can I forget about COVID, right? It's still going on. Um, okay. So let's I'm just gonna keep reading through the comments. If you're just joining, I'm reading through the comments of my video that I did on this case with Trisel and Jacqueline. And we're just reading through the comments and discussing them and taking some polls and stuff like that along the way. So um that's what we're doing. Here we go. Uh this person says these two deserve the harshest of sentencing. Amen. Praise Jesus on that one. I mean, seriously. Um this is what gets me too that really pisses me off with it is the fact that they took the children away from someone trying to say, Oh no, they can't. And we're not going to even get into any of that. We're just, they took the children away from someone saying you can't care for them. We're putting them in the hands of other people. And this is what happens. I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? Um, and then Elizabeth, first of all, Elizabeth, thank you for the support. And no, they're not like that. They don't just walk around in these, patches and that right there too i mean the this okay so when i went back and looked at some of that the stuff she was just blurting out was like what are you talking about okay so remember how at first you it was always like that maybe they're just really nervous maybe they're just this you know maybe there's that room for we hope it's not what we think it is and now knowing what we know and going back and looking at it and seeing her blurt this stuff out i'm like what what are you talking about? Like, why would you say that? And again, they're not the type to be walking around like that. Yeah, really? You know what I mean? I'm just like, we didn't think that they were. They're like babies. I mean, come on. They're toddlers for God's sakes, you know? And to think that, I, oh, this is my other thing too. Why did they ever think that was going to fly? Now, mind you, it did. I mean, they stayed out of jail for what, a year? Um, or has it been two years? A year, right? I'm, my timeline's messed up. Anyways. It was so bizarre. It was so bizarre. I mean, it was never going to fly. They just literally disappeared into thin, uh, in thin air with that, not a sign on the video cameras. Anyways, anyways, here we go. Um, okay, I'm with you. The first monster could have gone too far to me. I'm going to disappear. Okay, we keep going. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yep. Um, okay, I'm sure this case didn't see anything that they had plenty of time. Okay, this person says they're, they're furious with the case. Um, I'm so furious with this case. They didn't say anything for three months. They had plenty of time to get their story together. No one else in the family noticed they were gone. This, I mean, this is, yeah. But then this is what makes you wonder, like, where how many people were helping them out or how much they were lying to other people, right? Anyways, um, what is wrong with people? I'm so overwhelmed with the number of cases lately with such cold hearts harming innocent children. I mean, I, yes. You know, and again, this is the thing I think with COVID and people being locked up in the homes and just not being able to handle it. You know what I mean? It's just freaking out on one another and being pushed over the edge. Um like he's, that's pretty much what they were saying. Um, let's see. Uh, when I heard about the case, yep. uh, it sounds like uh, another person saying this. Oh, thank you, Rosie. I appreciate it. Hello to you out there too, Rosie. Thank you. Hold on. Oh, it was from my house. It looks away. Yeah, we should be. I, I, yeah. And hey, Shaylee, and me too. They were really bad liars now that you look. I mean, not even now that you look at it, but like now that we have confirmation that we were not crazy, right? Um, like now it's like they were really bad liars, right? Okay. So it sounds like they had the other children do something to those boys. That's why the DA said how heartbreaking the testimony was because those other kids testified about what happened. The DA said those boys were gone before they moved to that house. Why hasn't anyone been able to talk to the neighbors in the previous house? Just because it was over a year doesn't mean they were getting away way with the means how they were gathering the evidence yes absolutely to present to the grand jury absolutely um i've always been a, a big person of obviously i want you know to get the 
the, the details, right? You know, I mean, we're all human, right? But I'm always a big proponent of let the cops do their thing. You know what I mean? Like, let's just let them, let's just like, let them do their thing for a minute. Let's see what's going on. Um, I guess then they're saying all this. So, yeah, I wonder, and I know that he did talk to some neighbors back in Bakersfield, right? Um, back at the apartment complex. And I mean, help me out here because I have, it's been a hot minute since I looked at some of the stuff, but wasn't one of them saying like the boys were always in the window, like they didn't want to come out and play or stuff like that. And I can only imagine somebody mentioned this in here or maybe in another live chat I did about remember that case and they made a movie out of it. I think the girl next door or something like that, where that mother, the woman, the girl was dropped off with a woman who basically was paid to take care of her. she basically let the neighborhood boys come in and do horrible things to her and then this woman basically abused her until she was gone and so this is i'm thinking like is this what um what are their names uh Trizel and jacqueline uh were doing you know what i'm saying like were they letting the other kids like do stuff or having them do stuff because remember how he was very big on where he kept saying i'm yeah, i mean Trizel. They're going to be rambunctious. They like to wrestle. They like to do this. Like, if you look at all the stuff, he was setting up all of the stuff. And I guess my confusion with that is, was he trying to set something up so they found the bodies? It would be like, oh, well, almost like he was lining up for there to be a reason why there was injuries to them. You know what I'm saying? And maybe he had the other kids do stuff. I mean, I don't know. You know, I just, I, I, I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's keep going. For those joining, welcome. Uh, we're just going through my other video from my other channel and reading through the comments and whatnot. This person says that they think they probably got beat on a regular basis, and the last time it went too far, the brother witnessed it, so they had to get rid of him. It's just a hunch for me. I think the family disliked and bullied the little boys. No one else got beatings except for those two, although the rest of the kids were abused as well. There seems to have been no love connection with any of them, even their own. Um, okay, now here's one thing, too, because remember how the affidavit read, where it was like, and I don't have it in front of me right now, but... It almost sounded like one it took planning or something like that. And I, I too question like, did something happen with one of them? And then the other one was like, okay, now we have to get rid of this one because he witnessed or he, you know, whatever. Um, something of that flavor. Because at first when I was reading, I was like, okay, did he do something accidentally like leave them in the car or something like that? But then once more came out, it was like, no, this seems like he intentionally did something like he snapped on one of them. You know what I mean? Um, and then the other one had to go because maybe he was around or something. I don't know. I don't know. I can't keep up with it. Okay. A lot of people, a lot of people were in here talking about the similarities of um, um, Trizel and um, uh, Jacqueline's sway, or maybe a lot of Jacqueline, she was doing more of the swaying, comparing it to Chris Watts when he did his infamous, you know, standing on the porch video, that thing. A lot of comments about that. Here's another one, too. Okay. Oh, okay. The grandmother must have been involved, only speculating, but it's so interesting. Also, where's the dog? My theory that I've been thinking about is that Trezell and Jacqueline used the dog as a comfort for the kids to distract them while they did away with them. And then maybe they let the dog go as a stray or sold it. Um, I'll, hold on one second. <laughs> Pardon me. Also, I feel that Trezell went to go check up on the bodies of Orn and Orson to make sure that the cops hadn't found them. Any speculation about this would be appreciated. Again, this is just my thoughts on this. Trezell also deleted his Facebook and probably did this to hide evidence of what happened, like messages or selling the dog and stuff like that. Again, just speculation. Maybe the grandmother kept the kids' bodies for a bit. Uh, and so it goes on. So I don't know anything. About, so did they get rid of the dog? Do we, is that what happened? Um, Cause I don't, I mean, I don't remember or anything. I'm, you know, I don't know. That would be interesting if they did. And I could totally see them doing that. I mean, my God, look what they did to the children. Um, 
Okay. Let's see what this person says. Yep. Okay, so here's another one. Part of what made their story so unbelievable from the beginning was the fact that it was so step-by-step -step detailed. Amen. Amen. I mean, for real. Um, any parent in that situation would be frantic and would not be able to recite every single thing they did in perfect order. If they had been frantically searching for their kids in a panic, everything would be a blur. Absolutely. See, this is the thing. Um they remember things, of course, but it would not be so meticulous and ordered. The story wouldn't have been so obviously rehearsed. They exhibited none of the sheer terror a loving parent would feel. They would be so they wouldn't be so weirdly calm. And yet that's the other thing. It <clears throat> pardon me. It, it did seem rehearsed. It did seem I mean, like somebody said earlier, where they were reading off of a card, like they had, you know, practiced this off a card or whatever. And they probably had, I mean, again, they had months to do this. You know, leading up to this, they picked a date, a time. Because remember when um, the, the, it all came out and then we started the whole infamous video for the next door neighbors. And that's when it started being like, look, count the kids and da da da, da and all this stuff, right? Um, well, he had already lined up. Oh, the kids, you know, we don't let them play in the dirt you know, so they never went out there. Like he knew it was almost like he knew the neighbor had cameras. So maybe he had seen them. I don't know. Anyways. Um, but they were practicing and rehearsing this. And so they, you know, and again, it just makes you wonder what was going on in their world that it was like, it's now or never, we have to go ahead and do this. Like something had to have been approaching and maybe it was Christmas, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. Like maybe they had only put people off for so long before it was like, where are the kids? Right. Um, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so here's another one. So wait, let me just say this from one <clears throat> one other comment on this. Him sitting here saying the whole thing about or this comment saying, you know, um, there was not that franticness, any of that going on, and that is what was weird. Their their biggest concern because now when you watch it, knowing what we know now, there's not nervousness. There, but there's nervousness on we're scared to death that we're gonna get called. Like that's the only vibe I get coming from them, right? Especially Jacqueline, like she's ready to tuck tail and absolutely run the other way, right? Um. <clears throat> so, anyways. This person says they searched or he searched for all of six minutes and waited 13 minutes for the cops to come. The wife didn't look at all. And that was another thing that was like weird. Cause remember he's like, well, she was in there doing the Christmas presents. And remember he's like, it was cold. I was getting firewood. And I'm like, fire, like what, like the twigs, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, I mean, you're living in a desert, right? I, I haven't been out there. So I can't say, um, but I live out in the country. And so we have like, you know, trees and stuff. Um, And then, yeah, he just, he did, I got in the car, I had all these corners, I drove around, have you seen this, have you seen that, da, 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 da. Um, and then, that's it, right, so, and then Fuzzy says, Paul, there's no one out there, I didn't think there was, I mean, like, some twigs at, at most, right, I mean, so, yeah, 100%, I agree with you, Fuzzy, okay, let's see here, Okay, the the mask for dinner. Let's talk about the damn mask for a second because I, you know, I said if you watch my video, I was talking about this damn mask hair wearing. Y'all, she might as well have just worn damn Jason mask. I got my hockey mask over here from Friday the Thirteenth. That mask was so huge on her face, and I mean, again, it worked to their benefit, right? It was something to hide behind. He had that gator on or whatever. Um, you know, you call the things were up here, or whatever completely hiding their face again like that was just so weird and i'm like y'all are out here like why are you wearing these masks in this certain situation right i mean there's like really no reason like people are standing away from you you know and again we've said it uh, time time again during this whole thing i think we're gonna see more and more stuff like this because i mean it's just people stuff like this was able to happen unfortunately right 
Okay. So this is the reason I said that this person was talking about their mask here. Um, okay, hold on, I'm just going through the comments to find the next one. This person says this too, which is very interesting. Um, they're talking about, you know, it's rehearsed. We all sent something. They never mention the boy's names, a very concerning disconnect. Then when he reacts to his own statement with anger, when he says they're going to be rambunctious, we all know they're lying monsters from the jump. And yeah, that's completely weird. Um, and yeah, Alice says uh, in the comment section, she says they almost refer to the boys in past tense. Giselle said the boys were, are going to be rambunctious. Yeah, I mean, they probably brushed up on true crime stuff, right? Like they were probably watching a lot of this stuff uh, to kind of like brush up before they did their their spiel because that's exactly what it was, was a spiel. Okay, now this let's read this person's comment. Something that struck on the video was... Uh, okay, here we go. Something that struck, stuck, hold on. Something that struck out in this, okay, hold on, I'm sorry. Something that stuck out in this interview was the parent saying that the boys went outside. Dad states that it was cold out, enough to build a fire. He also states that they had to keep all the children in the house because of COVID. Why would they let young children at five in the evening it was cold outside go in the backyard for any reason? Dad contradicted himself. Yeah, and so I think what he was trying to play out, because obviously we know he's lying about all of this. So to me, he makes it like he's going over. And what's in their video of him throwing stuff over? And my first initial thought was, why would you throw stuff over the fence knowing there's kids on the other side? You know what I mean? Because it was just weird to me. Uh, but I might not be remembering that correctly. Um, but he was trying to say that, and like, oh, I went outside, but we didn't let him play out there. I mean, it, it, it just didn't seem right. And then that's where things get into, well, you know, some people might say, oh, well, you know, it's fine to let your kids, you know, be there for a few minutes or whatever. But again, these are like little tiny kids, right? So him saying, well, I came inside and then went back outside and then they weren't there. And then I came back in and then I realized the whole thing is like, you know, oh, I left the fence open, you know, okay. And I don't know if they initially were trying to go with maybe an ant, like, oh, well, maybe an animal came and got him. And then as the search went on, like, that fell apart. I mean, who knows? I would love to know what their original story was. Like, because I have a feeling that they rehearsed something. And um, I have a feeling that they rehearsed something and that, it was almost like what what you wanted, what you expected, and what you got. You know what I mean? Like they wanted to go in with a certain story, but then this is what it ended up coming out to be, right? So I almost feel like the whole thing of like the neighbor, oh, the neighbors, you know, I want to go in their houses and you know, I mean, come on. I don't I would love to know also if they knew about the neighbors' cameras. Surely they had looked. Surely they had looked. I mean, one would think, right? So, anyways, okay. Um, they finally made arrest. I'll see. Yep, and yep, and yep. Um, Paul, your brother as well. I, I love how the verdict comes in. Zims and Joey starts to say foul play, and there's some micro as well. I'll take the room to see what you're doing. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the same thing I thought when I said. I'm just kind of reading through these comments right here uh, just to find some that are like good talking points for us. Uh, if you're just joining, welcome. I'm reading through comments on my video that I did on my other channel from the uh, Trezell and Jacqueline ar arrest uh, where I analyzed, you know, went back over their original interview and now I'm just reading the comments and we're discussing them. So welcome. Um, I was over the news that they were arrested. Amen. Same here. No bell. Amen. Same here. Um, another thing about the rambunctious comment, him clearing his voice, grunting, scoffing after they're going to be rambunctious. That was weird. What does that have to do with anything? It doesn't. It's a distraction. I believe a slip on his part. These people don't deserve any of their own kids, let alone these beautiful babies. Rest easy now, little ones. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I just think that there's like a lot of stuff that he was saying. Like, I think that there was a level with them of pure adrenaline rush. You know what I'm saying? Like, almost like 
it, it's like once they went out there and like this, this is the equivalent of them like jumping off the high dive, right? They were like, because when they made that phone call to 911, they did all that, like they knew it was going to get turned up, right? And so I think some of it was just that. I think that somebody mentioned it over here and in here about how they were kind of prompting one another along. Um, so like when, uh, what's her name? when Jacqueline was like in the backyard just randomly or whatever like saying this weird stuff it was almost like they were having to go off script at times which they obviously don't do well with um and then they were prompting each other I think the in the back in the yard was her prompting him like remember in the yard they were in the yard and then he goes in with it and that's why it also explains the you know, and then when they took questions, even though they're acting like, yeah, you know, I'll stop talking. Let's take some questions. You know, I mean, that had to, I mean, can you imagine how nervous I had to make them? Um, because here it's unscripted. And again, the whole thing where they were like, yeah, no, we, we'd expect them to think that we did that. We'd expect them to think that he did it. We would too. We get it. We get it. You know, I mean, that part was good on their part. I mean, like, that was just like, oh, yeah, they're, like, definitely, they're, they're, they know how to play the room. You know, let's say that. Not 100%, uh, because, obviously, whatever happened to them, you know, they're in jail. Um, okay. Another person wondering why would they even adopt the children? Amen. I'm amen. Other than to make money. Um they make me sick. Yep, same here. Um, let's see. I was since they are that hard to find. They literally just live here. And this is another thing that brings up because this. Uh, so what this person is saying is basically, you know, what could they have done that is literally making it to the point where they cannot find these children at all? Because if you notice a lot recently, not a lot, but like all these cases where the bodies are never found again, and it's like, how are people getting this damn good at hiding bodies? And it really makes you wonder because I mean, this. I mean, for me, this is one of those things where. It's going to be horrifying when we find out what really happened, right? And then there's this part of me that's just like, well, when we know, at least we know it couldn't be, you know, A, B, or C, right? Because I was, this is where I left off with it, right? I was 100% like, this, these children have been trafficked. Like, that's where I left off with it. And they might have been, I don't know. Um, but then they wouldn't have those charges or whatever. Um I don't know. See, I just go round and round with it because originally I was like, the, the children have been trafficked. That's what this is. There's just, how is this possible? How are these people not in jail? How are they not, the, the children haven't been found on any level. And so that's where I left off. So honestly, when they came up with some charges like this, I was a little surprised in the context of, you know, I thought it was going to be something over here like this. Cause I mean, my mind was just like, what kind of demon would sell children off? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, Oh my God. Right. Um, and so somebody just said something they waited until the bodies decomposed before. Excellent point. Excellent point. And I went, God only knows what, I mean, that's the whole thing. It's just like, it's one of those things where it's like the mind wants to know what happened but it's like, you don't want to know, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, again, I'm just like, God, are we going to hear that they made the other children do horrifying things and like brought the whole, you know, everyone in around it. Um, it's just, I don't know. So anyways, um, uh, hold on one second and let me do this real quick. Cause uh, this, I, I keep getting a phone call. Um, Okay, please hold. Please continue. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I accidentally got rid of the screen. Okay, let me go back to over here to channel to videos to Jarzo and this. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We don't need to do that. And let's. So instead of doing top comments, could a newest. Why they make a person helping them? 
sounds like they were cursed. So I'm just reading through this to find something to talk about. Uh, sounds like, um, let's see, sounds like, where is it? Sounds like they coerced the kids to help them, quite possibly. The rambunctious comment is how the guilty always has to justify what has happened to the victim by assassinating their character a bit. Very true. Good point. Um, I think the other parents made the children. Hold on. I think the hold on. I think the parents made the other children beat up the boys. I bet it was a fight club set up by the parents for their enjoyment while they watched the kids battle and the boys died from internal injuries. I mean, my God. I, but see, I mean, something like this is kind of what the mind goes to, right? I mean, because it's. I mean, I'm kind of thinking the same thing, right? Uh, the monsters, absolutely. Rest in heavenly peace. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. How much you This person saying they want to know. Um, oh, let see. Oh, uh, I hope I said your name right. I did see your comment, and I, I, I have not watched the news report on it yet but i'm going to be um because i saw the news report my thing and i put it i'm gonna be doing another like follow-up video here and i don't know like a week maybe when more information comes out um because i want to like look at the i want to look at that and talk about it that's what i'm getting at um okay so let's see i want to know what the criteria for being a foster parent like how deep they go into your background amen i mean my god I just think the system is so overburdened. So I was talking to a girl. We're going to side note for a second. I was talking to a girl, I don't know, Friday or something like that. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. Um, anyways, she was um, she was a social worker and she worked in, you know, CPS, that kind of stuff. And she was talking about um, a town that she was working in and how there was only 10 foster families for this uh, county sound like a rural county and uh she was like you know what kids come in every single day you know you're kind of juggling between families and all this and she was like it got to the point where they you know the how I'm, their boss whoever would be like who wants to you know spend the night at the agency because they would have to I mean kids were having to stay there and i'm like oh my god so i know our experience when we were doing um we weren't foster parents but we like uh worked with the program of uh i forget what you called i don't even know it's been so many years um when they age out that zone between um too old for the foster care system like something between like 18 and 21 or something like that anyways um I mean, and, you know, th these workers are completely overburdened. And so I'm just like, you know, I can only imagine, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not trying to say, like give them reasons for uh, what this is okay or whatever, because it's absolutely not. But I see how and why some of this happens. Uh, and I definitely have seen firsthand where I'm like, oh, yeah, there's definitely people that treat this 100% like a business. It is a check that comes in and the, the the kids are the product you know what i'm saying and it's sad you know because these a lot of these kids i mean as you see they're already coming from like really crazy situations um so it's 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 bad um okay so here we go we're gonna keep on reading okay <laughs> okay this person i think they're talking about what you were just talking um what about the other adopted boys that would be 10 and 12 years old now, but haven't been seen by the bio parents since they're five years old? The Trezels don't have them, so where are they? Is this their family business? Adopt, cash in, kill, adopt some more? This is the problem with adopted foster kids. They're in the wind, and you'd be shocked and sickened to know how often they are hurt are never heard from again. So, I mean, this right here, this is why I want to look into this because I'm just like, I mean, has it really been that long? I mean, this is horrifying sounding because we might be finding out details like this, right? That this is literally, because we already know it's kind of a family business. I mean, like multiple ones of them are involved in this. Okay. Uh, and then, yes, it's like that. The step-by-step. Step. Okay, here's another one. 
the way she was rocking side to side. And he's like, he's cheeky with the high school principal type of vibe. Open guilt. Sorry, but they mostly act out like that line. Uh, I work in the psychological field. Um, again, asking about human trafficking, things of this nature. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Speaking of... A lot of people are talking about the behavioral panel said the mask didn't matter at all as far as reading their body language. Apparently the channel behavior panel did a reading on their body language. Now this probably was like a hot minute ago when that video first came out, but it would be interesting to go back and watch it again. Um, I love their stuff. Another person saying they do think that there's likely other children. Another person, someone asking, do we think it was a hot car? Kids help forced by those two. Probably the kids told on them. I do think we're going to find stuff like that out. Like, definitely. Um, oh, about the kids being kind of forced into the scenario, right? Um, and something of that nature and them having to tell. Um, let's see here. I, too, wondered about the first degree, why they're not being charged with that versus second degree. And I know each state's different. And I mean, I'm, I am no lawyer as always. So <laughs> I, I don't know the answer to this. I don't know why it would be that way. Um, another person talking about how Jacqueline was like turning around scared to death. Have you noticed they are doing the domino effect, repeating what each other says? Yeah, this is so true. The person talking about their experience with losing their kid or, or, you know, went missing when they were three, how they were freaking out, looking at where all that kind of stuff. And again, which is just behavior we don't see with these two. Um, Okay, in the last paragraph, accountant. Okay, the, this person says this. The last paragraph of count one, Oren, makes me think they use bath time as a ruse to drown Oren. So he was probably second to go. But got to give the Ice Queen Award. All the questions from the chart. I don't get this. Uh, and I see all the questions from. I don't get this part. So this is interesting. This could be a thing, right? Interview looks completely fake now. It did before, but it's much more to all the events. Again, talking about the list that they do and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, hey, Kelly Bell, how's it going? So, I'm just going to kind of catch up with some comments over here, real quick. Um, how they got paid even after adopting? Huh, interesting. Um, maybe they were attacked by grandma's dogs. I mean, my God, it could be right. Um, I heard they got paid up uh, more money if you take siblings. Oh, that's interesting. I watched a press conference a couple of days ago where the defense team said they're holding off on calling it first degree murder until after the autopsies. Wait, was this about this? Have they found the bodies? Or they don't know yet. Maybe that's what it is. Because, yeah, I mean, do we think they're going to find the bodies? I mean, at this point, I mean, my God. Um, okay, and so then uh, Sally says, I pray Jackie flips on uh, Trizel. I'm very curious about this, too, because now we're going to get into that territory, right? Someone is going to be potentially flipping on the other one to save their butt. You know what I mean? Like, 100%. I, I mean, because if you asked me, I mean, I think they're both guilty. Trizel strikes me as the type that is not a very nice person, right? And she probably goes along with. Um, and I'm not trying to excuse her. Um involvement or lack thereof or whatever but he just he seems very like i don't know he seemed kind of violent um we'll see maybe they're both completely just you know violent monsters i don't know um let's see here because he's oh uh, hey kathleen uh there's stories of him beating her up. See, that's what I thought I'd heard, Ray Ray. I thought I'd heard some stories about him being violent with her or whatever. Um, I got a feeling that he hides his anger too. But yeah, 
Is that a four? I get the feeling she's the boss. He takes all that out. Gets. Oh, that's a good one, Alice. Yeah, it definitely could be. Because she definitely, she doesn't seem to, uh, I'm going to say this, she didn't seem meek in the interview, right? At all. Um, so, uh, hey, Stephanie, how's it going? Um, so Stephanie says, do you think maybe one parent murdered the boys and the other did not know about it? I don't think so. I think they both kind of knew about it in what fashion i don't know like you know could it have been something like where he snapped on one of them and did something that came in and i was like i just did this you know now let's both go into you know what i'm saying because definitely like the interview we saw they are both helping each other out to cover their tracks i mean obviously you know what i'm saying um and yes c l h she definitely seems nervous she seems like she wanted to turn around and run off and i would have wanted to i would have wanted to have thrown up I mean, I would have wanted to have thrown up. I mean, a hundred percent. Okay, so hold on one second. So, and Mimi Viz, uh, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. So you were saying the two adopted boys on the news are not missing. They were taken by the state along with their biological children after they reported classic and sincere missing. Okay, so are you talking? Okay, so yes, I remember there being talks of once classic and sincere were missing, the other children were taken from the home. Thank God, Okay. Thank God. Thank God. But are you saying the thing that people are talking about where there's that other mother saying, well, my children were with them and I haven't seen them in this eight long or whatever, like what happened to them? Is that, Are you referring to those two as well? Is that what you're talking about? Because that would make sense. Um, And thank you again. Hey, Ash, it's a, I'm 100% going to be talking about the Sherry Papina. And thank you for reminding me. I was talking about it earlier. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a video on that one. Uh, I've got to finish up the video that I was doing. In fact, I have to go in a few minutes and do that. Uh, but yes, 100%. And then Mimi says, yes, those two boys. Okay. Okay. Thank you for, thank you. And that's the other thing too. And hello, humble grower. Um, yes, I a hundred percent now. Pardon me. Now, what we need to see is for them to say where the boys are, so they can get a proper burial and be brought back to their biological family. You know what I'm saying? See how this is yeah there's a lot of procedural stuff with the situation now this is one thing that i would end up seeing and i i mean like when we work very closely with um um i forget one of the uh, uh the the social workers the cps people i mean i could see how the parents if they wanted to could find out sometimes but see the difference here is the kids were so young that's the difference of the kids are so young you know, because like we were dealing with people who were like aging out, right? And so they could talk to parents and whatnot. Rosie, are you going to cry? Yes, we are going to be. Matt and I are going to Crime Con in Vegas in April. Um, so we will be there. And we will be, uh, I'm going to be bringing some little gift baggy things. Very informal meet and greet. It will literally be me going to my community page and being like, I'm standing at blank. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and if you want to come, obviously throughout, we can, if we run into if people are going to be there, um, obviously come say hey or I'll come say whatever. Um, but I'm going to try and work it to where it's like, a, oh, hey, uh, we're going to be right here you know, for like an hour or whatever, uh, just to have like a, a situation like that. But then I hope to bring or meet people along the way and look for this. Please hold. Let me get this to show you all real quick. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. I got my sp I got my little bag, my reporting live from the sofa bag that I'll be carrying around with all my little stuff to put in here. Um, so if you spot me with this, you know what's up. You know what's up. Um, 
but yeah, if you see me there, come say hey, a hundred percent. Um, that, that's why I'm going to be quite honest. So I can meet y'all. Um, let's see. It's all right. All right, so, hey, Peggy. All right, so, y'all, I've got to go. I've got to go finish doing a video, and then i got work tomorrow. Um, so that is it. Thank y'all for another wonderful conversation. Uh, this is amazing. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, for, thank you to those uh, for the uh, uh, super chats. Thank you for all the intel on this. I love coming here and talking about the comments and having these conversations because they add so much more to it. I mean, they really do for me, and I hope y'all. Um, And again, thank you, Miss Emily. Um, in case y'all didn't, if you didn't know, this is uh, Emily's artwork that she sent me for those who are just joining. Um, this, a beautiful card. Thank you, Emily, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Everyone give Emily a shout out. Show her some love for holding the room down. Um, and thank you to all the Sofa Squad members. I love you. It couldn't be here without you. And guess who else thanks you? See, um... Hello. Hey. Roscoe, you want to say goodnight? You want to say, yep, he's like, mm -mm, I don't care. Anyways. That's it. I thank you, everybody. I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all very, very soon. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you.